हेलो एवरीवन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर द इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन पार्ट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द डेटाबेस डेटा वेयर हाउस एंड द डेटा लेक व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस एंड वेन एक्चुअली वी यूज द डेटाबेस डेटा वेयर हाउस एंड द डेटा लेक वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो ओके एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वेन एवर यू विल गो फॉर एनी इंटरव्यू राइट सो फर्स्ट दे विल ट्राई टू चेक यूर बेसिक वेदर यू शुड नो और नॉट सो वी शुड नो अबाउट द डेटा बेस डेटा वेयर हाउस एंड द डेटा लेक सो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट सो विल स्टार्ट विद द डेटा बेस so database is nothing but where actually store our data store our data we have a different database we have a mysql we have a oracle and we have a uh, sql server right so different different kind of the database generally available okay so what kind of the data actually we try to store into our database we try to generally store the all the transactional related data transactional related data data ट्रांजेक्शन ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेटेड डेटा एक्चुअली वी ट्राई टू स्टोर इन टू अ डेटा बेस ओके फॉर टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल यू आर गोइंग टू द बैंक ओके यू आर गोइंग टू द बैंक ओके एंड यू हैव टेकन फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ओके सो वट एवर द ट्रांजेक्शन इज हैपनिंग राइट सो ऑल द कैंड ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन डेटा एक्चुअली वी ट्राई टू पुट इन टू अवर डेटा बेस ओके आई होप यू गॉट इट सो जनरली द डेटा बेस वी डोंट यूज इट फॉर द एनालिटिकल पर्पज जनरली वी यूज इट फॉर द डे टू डे एक्टिविटी ओके सो फॉर टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ यू विल आस्क लाइक ओके सो गिव मी ऑल द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स ऑफ डेटा ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ द डेटा वी डोंट स्टोर इन टू अ डेटा बेस ओके फॉर दैट वी यूज अ डेटा वेयर हाउस ओके सो ओनली द वन ईयर डेटा टू ईयर डेटा लास्ट थ्री ईयर मैक्सिमम यू विल गेट इन द डेटा बेस बट ऑल द एनालिटिकल लाइक द ओल्ड डेटा एंड ऑल फॉर दैट पर्पज वी यूज अ डेटा वेयर हाउस बिकॉज वाई इट इज़ वेरी इट्स कॉस्टली it is very costly and generally we use for the day to day transactional activity and uh, all the historical data we try to store into a data warehouse so i hope you got a idea about what is a database and where actually we use a transactional uh, data okay so and uh, uh, we have to also understand right oltp oltp kind of the system that is nothing but the online transactional system we generally use a a uh, database okay now let us talk about the data warehouse data warehouse okay so data warehouse generally we use it for the analytical purpose analytical purpose okay o which we call it as a olap online analytical processing data okay so suppose you have a requirement okay where actually we use a data warehouse suppose you have a requirement where you have to give suppose you are working in amazon okay in amazon you have to give your business like how many purchase from a product happened in last 10 years so all the kind of the data actually will get stored into a data warehouse so what actually we will do in the in that kind of the purpose we actually try to get all the data from a data warehouse and we will try to build some kind of the report and we try to give it to the uh, business okay so in a, for the all the kind of the analytical process we actually try to use we try to uh, create a complex query we try to analyze our data and we try to build a report and we try to give it to the stakeholders okay so here also it it follows it follows etl activity etl activity okay so what generally happen is like suppose uh, you are doing a an analysis okay so you have you have a, you, your product related information is available in one db you are tra uh, transactional is uh, available uh, suppose you have a campaign related uh, information is available in another db similarly uh, order related uh, information is available in another db right so what actually we do we actually try to extract the data which is available in a different different db and we try to put into a common space we try to get into a common space okay so what actually we do we try to extract all the data we try to extract all the data we try to perform some kind of the transformation we try to perform a some kind of the transfer and finally we try to uh, load into a data warehouse so that is the concept of the data warehouse okay now let us try to understand the third thing that is nothing but a data lake data lake okay so in a data lake what generally happen is like so data lake follows the elt process elt process okay so why uh, why data warehouse is not uh, we are not using nowadays what actually happening whatever the etl process we follow right this trans uh, transformation 
this transformation layer okay so generally when we perform a data pipeline and etl activity right so generally we are not sure like uh, what kind of the transformation we will do and what kind of the data actually we will try to load okay so to overcome this the data lake nowadays we are using so in a data lake what actually happen we first try to extract the data extract and we try to load the data and after loading the data we actually perform a some kind of the transformation and whatever the matrix we have to define so that is how the data lake works in the in the uh, what actually happen in the uh, data warehouse right in the data warehouse it follow the schema on right schema on right okay so we have to first define the schema of the table and there only we will try to insert our data okay so if any issue that will give you error but in the case of the data lake what actually happen whatever schema on read it follows so first we try to load the data and later actually we can do any kind of the transformation okay so that is uh, that is how actually it works so i hope you got idea about the database versus data warehouse and data lake so database is nothing but a database generally we use for the all the kind of the, the transactional related activity data warehouse generally we use for the uh, analysis purpose so suppose you have a 10 years old data and you want to do some kind of the analysis so what actually it follows it follows the etl activity where extract the data transfer and then load the data in a data warehouse we try to build certain reports out of it okay it follows the schema on right so that is and transformation also is a tedious task so to overcome this we have a data lake now in most of the cloud we actually use our data lake for example we have amazon s3 and all right so in a data lake what actually happen we actually first extract and we try to load it and later actually we perform a transformation over it okay so and uh, cost wise we will talk about right that database is costly and then the data warehouse and the data lake is very cheap okay as compared to the data warehouse and I hope you got idea yeah that's it in this video thank you